Just a tiny moped, kind of squeeze on through there, and oh, oh shit! <laughs> Hello everybody, Grace Deal Blaze, we're back with more My Summer Motocross. You may think that all we have is a moped, but damn it, we're gonna make it do things it shouldn't do. Someone sent me, okay, now I'm starting to get everything kind of congealed. I don't remember if it was a comment or if it was a tweet. I read everything, most of the time. And it had said that if you take the old bucket seats from the Setsuma and you turn them upside down, you can ramp the frickin' moped off of it, and that sounds amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a shot. The other thing people were saying, oh, mother of Jesus. Whenever you buy stuff, I'm sure a lot of you know this, whenever you buy stuff and you put it inside of some place in a, what is Jesus? And you put it inside of some place in a bag, it explodes whenever you save or log out of the game. So now my freaking van looks like crap. Damn it, keep everything inside the bag for Jesus sake. Anyway, we're gonna try and do some jumps. You guys also said, bring the yellow car man back to our house and lock him up inside of our garage. I think that would be pretty damn funny. We should probably do that. Now, the biggest issue that we have, can we tow him in this? This is probably not strong enough to tow him, I'll bet. The other problem is I can't keep the moped inside of this. I'm pretty sure I can't keep the moped inside of this. Mmm, let's give it a shot. Talk about doing something against my better judgment. What better way to screw things up than to try and throw a- What the hell? Oh. Than to try and throw a moped inside of a freaking tanker. But why not? We've got a big seat over here, right? Hold on. Oh my god, I think it's gonna fit. Uh, yeah. That's- I'm sure that won't glitch out. Everything will be just fine. Okay. Now we just have to get this ass all hooked up. Let me go ahead and pull on forward here. Alright, everything's working, uh, so far so good. As long as I don't catch a freaking moped in the chicklets, I think we'll be just fine. Let's go ahead over here and see if we can hook this schmuck up. Go grab this. Yeah, veto to you too, buddy. Hold on. Oh, shh. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got to get it. We got to get it. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Just jump over here. Don't you speed off on me. Don't you speed off. Okay, good. Woo! Sometimes he kind of takes off on his own. I didn't want him to go ahead and do that. In fact, while we're over here, let me go ahead and grab... At least one of the two cycle fuels because we may need it. I don't know how quickly this thing burns through fuel yet. We have all the two cycle fuels in here, don't we? We do not. Oh, they're inside the shop right where I left them. Getting kind of late outside, I think, too. Some bitch. I think we're going to have to go to sleep eventually here. Someone said to complete the 24 hour challenge over here in uh, Timo's uh, uh, shop. We can try that at some point as well. We've got, Lord knows, we got plenty of food and beer just laying all around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, play your music. Go ahead and go ahead and play your music. You ain't going nowhere, you hoe. All right, go ahead and throw that right on there. Oh, look at that! Look at that trick shot right on top of the moped, right where it belongs. Hold on, boys. It's time for Gray's favorite part of the game. My favorite part of the game. We've got to get gas. <laughs> or diesel, I should say. For the next 25 minutes. Not only do I get to fill up the diesel tank for the next 20 minutes, I get to hear Jackass playing his thump thump music the whole damn time while I'm doing it. I was reading the comments. One of you guys said something like, uh, when Gray laughs, he sounds like a seagull. Well, boys, that's why I can't do a face reveal. The truth is, I'm not a man at all. I'm actually a seagull. Yes. Normally, the government won't allow seagulls to play YouTube games online and uh, pay taxes and collect a paycheck from it. So, I have to keep my seagull identity a, a secret, unfortunately. You know, seagulls don't get a comparable wage to the rest of the world. We're not treated fairly. Everyone looks at seagulls and they just think that we're thieves and jerks and jackasses, but that's not true. Seagulls work damn hard, you know. Every day I'm on here pumping freaking diesel into the same damn gas tank a hundred times in a row like I've done for the last three months trying to kill the yellow thump thump car as he runs my, my freaking bitch ass over for the 10 millionth time so I can listen to the beautiful music Yes, the beautiful music. Doo, 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 doo. Some of you guys don't believe that that music haunts my dreams. Oh, it does. It haunts my dreams. I hear that music all over the place now. Basically, whenever I fail to do something in life, in my head, that freaking music plays. And still, to this day, every once in a while, someone will link it to my Twitter <laughs> or to one of the freaking comments in, in the My Summer Car videos. You'll never... 
We'll never let it go. That song will never go away. I hope in the next game for this, the my my space van or whatever. Hopefully that's not a freaking April Fool's joke. I hope it's the same damn song. It might as well be. I don't know if the guy, if the artist that made that song ever did a sequel. If he did, they're gonna maybe they'll use that. I don't know. This is how much gas that thing takes. I can't even finish. I can't even finish. I have to actually grab a beer before I finish filling up the diesel. How screwed up is that? Or you know what? Maybe that's an accurate representation. Maybe that's an accurate representation of what a necessity beer is. You can't even get your diesel tank all the way filled up unless you crack one open. The problem is, after a couple of beers, see that right there? After a couple of beers, it's hard getting the nozzle in the hole, man. It's hard getting it in the hole after a few beers. You boys know, aiming becomes a real issue after the, the, the third or fourth one. Or at least in this game it does. Holy God, 900 freaking marks later. Anything else around here I might need? Eh, there's a little bit more gas and stuff like that. Nothing too big. As long as I have a case of beer, as a matter of fact, I should probably grab one because the, the thirst meter is going by real fast. You know, filling up gas tanks and towing someone to their death makes a man thirsty. You know what I mean? Go ahead and throw that in there. All right, boys, let's head on home. Now all I have to do is not die. If I die, I will be very, very unhappy because we're going to have to do all of this all over again. You can't save because if you save, he gets released from his bondage. Then I have to friggin' deal with hooking him all up again. And, like, three hours will pass or something like that. It'll be real friggin' dark outside. I already need my damn headlights. I don't even know what time it is. The big question I'm trying to ask myself is whether or not I want him dead or alive when we bring him back. I feel like I want him alive. Because that would be cool if I can get him into our uh, garage in one piece. Although, if he does end up dying spontaneously, I can't say that I'm going to feel particularly sorrowful. Oh, this is interesting. He's not spinning his tires anymore. It's like he's given up finally. He's finally given up. Yes. Normally you hear those damnable tires spinning all the time. But not anymore. Now he knows. He's He knows all has forsaken him. He's coming home with gray. He's coming home with gray. And he's going straight into the garage. Oh, I see you, you little jerk ass. Oh, don't. Nope. Never mind. He's got his willpower back again. I do not want to go flying off the road, though. In fact, I'm going to slow down a little bit. I will say, I'm starting to lean toward killing him. The reason why is because I don't want him to hear that damn music anymore. Boom, ba, boom, ba, boom. I didn't, I'm tired of it. I want I want him to be, be silent, man. I wish there was a way I can lean into his car and just turn the damn music off. The cool thing is he's like a layer of protection. If the green thump thump car tries to drive up our ass, like, it'll hit him first, right? So I think we'll stay alive. Now, I don't think that the green thump thump car can re-rend you to death in the tanker. Like, the tanker death scenes are really weird. Because, like, you can hit another vehicle going, like, 100 kilometers per hour. But if you hit a tree going, like, 30, you die. All right, man. We're halfway there and we're still alive. Oh, you know what? I wonder if you can tow... Remember the little green car that flies around here that we end up kind of killing by accident all the time? I think it's the hitchhike guy. I wonder if you can tow him as well. I'd like to bring his ass over to the house. Now you boys know, normally I'm not one for safety. But this was a long freaking trek. See right there? See right there? If we, if I didn't look, well actually I probably could have just sped right past it. But I do not want to die to that. Yes, go by. Go by you jackass. Okay, good. There we go. Now we're scot free, baby. Nothing's gonna get in between us and getting to the house. Unless I spontaneously fly off one of these little divots and die. All right, buddy. We're home. So, this is where I live. So happy you could get the opportunity to see it. Now I have to figure out how to get his ass inside the garage. I think I'm going to have to back up with him. Hold on here. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and put the parking brake on here. Hop on out. We're going to have to open the other door, I assume. Get inside the garage. Get inside the garage, you jackass. Where the hell are you? Hold on. Over here, and then kind of like this. Get inside the garage. Get in there. Get in there. Where the hell is he? Hold on. Well, we brought him home. I whoa. All right, man, he's like a chained up lion or something like that. Look at him coming after us. What an asshole. Um. Hmm. Ah, uh, almost. Not quite. All right, hold on. We'll do a catch and release here. I've had enough of his friggin' music anyway. Get out of here, you jackass. There you go. 
Be free, my child. You may go. Go forth and propagate. Get the hell off my freaking property. Yes. Wow, this is weird. I'm like surfing on his car. This is this is new and exciting. Go, get it, get the hell out of here. Oh, well, you know what? Hold on. We're getting kind of tired too. Gonna have to use the old sauna here in a little bit. Look lively, man! There we go. There we go. That worked pretty good. I think, I think this deserves a beer. There we have it. So, in the end, we did have to kill him. I feel... Ah, who am I kidding? I was gonna say, I feel somewhat bad about this, but not really. Um, oh, Jesus. Okay, can I, can I get out of the car, please? Can, will you let me out of the car? There we go. All right, so let, oh, there he is. Okay, good. I was going to say, is he still inside of our vehicle? I feel kind of bad because I released him only to end up slaying him anyway, but whatever. That's the way the cookie crumbles here in Finland. It's friggin' survival of the fittest. You boys know. Hold on here. What the crap? What in the hell is going on? Damn it. Well, I just found out if you want to, you can drive like Miss Daisy over here. Well, it wasn't actually Miss Daisy that was driving, was it? Wasn't it someone else driving her? But, uh, I can barely see over the steering wheel. It's like we're a hundred million years old. Hold on. Let's see if I can back up over here. I can't even see where the hell I'm going. Oh, my God. Oh, this is such a pain in my ass. Where the hell are you? There you are, you dirty bastard. Okay. Go ahead and throw this in reverse. Teague's looking kind of craptastic. Wouldn't that be sad? It oh, shit. You don't want to punch when you're already tired. I screwed that up. That would be really sad if suddenly I die of a heart attack. I'm going to be really, really pissed. All right, buddy. Just a little bit more, just a little bit more, and we can call this a day. Come here, come here, you jackass. Just right inside. Get inside of the freaking garage. Get inside of the garage. All the way in. All the way. Oh, we're almost there, boys. We're almost there. Oh, God. Oh, it's so glorious. Oh, he's falling down the pit. Oh, shit. Oh, he's falling down the pit. Oh, that's not what I, yeah, whatever. All right, here we go. Here we go, just a little bit further. So what? He can fall down the pit, he'll be fine. He's a, he's a strong man. He's a wily sort. There we go. There we go. And... Yay! We did it! He's inside! We own the yellow car now. I wonder if I can move it... Shit, I just punched again. I wonder if I can move it this way a little bit. Let me see if I can move it past the... Jesus. If I can move it past the- there we go, it's kind of working. Well, or I'm just shoving it inside of- yeah, it's fine. All right. Well, another successful My Summer Car Day, if I do say so myself. Uh, don't mind the blood, though. Boys know how it is. Hold on, let's go ahead and get a couple of winks of sleep. I'll be back- oh, shit, I gotta turn these friggin' lights off. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Don't- don't die, Gray. Don't die, don't die. All right, right over here. There we go. Okay. Let me get to bed. Now you can get to bed by tele by finish headbutting through the wall, I do believe. Hold on here. Yep, right there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That oh, Whoa, I was teleporting through the wall before I went to sleep. All right. It's a new day. Brand new morning. Sun's rising in the distance. You boys want to see something crazy? You ready for this? I went to sleep. I woke up. He's still there. <laughs> yes. Yes, he's still there. Hey there, buddy. So I guess it's only if you save, I'll bet. Only if you save does something, uh, does he teleport away. Now, here are those, here's those seats, if you remember. Um, we can try and do our moped trick. Someone said that you could get all the way up onto the roof by mopeding off these seats. I'd be very, very interested in that. Hold on. Let's go ahead and set one of these up. Maybe you set it, you set it up like that right there, maybe? I don't know how, how far this thing shoots you either. Maybe the other way around. Maybe, like... Maybe like this. All right. We're going to give this a shot. Real quick, though, I can already tell I should definitely save. Because if I don't save, I'm going to end up dying. And then I'm going to be very, very pissed off about all the stuff that we've done. Hold on. Before we do anything else, let's go ahead and throw that. Did that, did that car just go flying when I had this beer case? That was... That was weird. Huh. Oh, whatever. Anyway, there you go. That's, uh, that's how we decorate the gravestones over here. <laughs> yep. If you save, he goes away. Oh, it's very saddening. Very saddening, but that's fine. There's other things that are afoot now anyway. Plus, that's pretty interesting. We know that if you go to sleep, his death can Really? 
His death continues to stay where it... Come here, man. His death continues to persist. So that is something to note. All right. All right. Now the question is, how much speed do we need to get? I don't know. You go ahead and kind of move around here. You got to watch with this thing because you will dump this friggin' moped in a heartbeat. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're going uphill here. A little slow. All right. Doing good. Doing good. Just kind of squeeze around there. There we go. And... Whoa! Ow! Oh shit, um, am I still on this thing? I am, I don't know how. This is a position I'm probably going to need to get used to. Oh, look at that! I don't, I didn't even plan that. There's a case of beer right next to me. Is that an empty case of beer? I, I kind of almost wish, I don't know. I, I almost wish that the cases of beer would disappear after you, uh, finish them off. Maybe I should use my trash can for once. That would be good too. All right, let's go ahead and move this thing over here. I feel like we put this in the wrong spot. How about if we come up our, how about if we come up the main road, right about, about, eh, a little bit further away, because we're going to be flying, uh, yeah, that seems good, again, this is all guesstimations from old, oh my god, this is all guesstimations from old Gray, where the hell, how do I, okay, how come I can't grab the, I, you gotta, you gotta use your, there we go, I do appreciate that they allow you to pick this thing up, just with your hands. How much does this thing weigh? Some people were saying this is a, uh, like a Suzuki or something like that. It's modeled after a Suzuki. It's a real thing, I guess. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. There we go. Look at that, man. Third kick, I think it was. Okay. So all you have to do is just head on down the old roadway here. There it is. There's the death trap right there. That Shit. All right, whatever. Um, Let's line this up a little bit. <laughs> I just heard it fall over. Oh, this poor, at least there's no, I, I don't think that you can damage this thing. So, God, there we go. The seating mechanic, little interesting. I, I don't know how I feel about it. Well, it, it works good enough. I can get on it. Okay, here we go. Now, that looks good. Uh, I think we're going to be able to survive this. I want to get on top of the damn roof with this thing. I swear to God. Oh, maybe I can make a ramp out of beer cases. Someone said, make a fort out of beer cases. All right. We can probably do that eventually. I don't know if I, uh, oh, that's a lot of freaking beer I'm going to be purchasing. Well, I guess anyone would be like, well, great, you should be purchasing that much beer anyway. Oh, look at this, weaving through the trees, man. I'm getting some skill on this bitch. I'm going to tell you what, look at that. Shucking and jiving, ain't no one know what time it is. All right, here we go. All right. This one's for all the marbles, boys. This one's for all the marbles. Get that freaking speed up. Get that freaking speed up. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. Okay, all right. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Gray knows exactly what he's doing. Holy shit. All right. You know, that was not good. Whoa. Hey. Yo. Yo. Whoa. Whoa. Stop, 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 stop. Uh -huh. Okay. I have no idea how I just survived that. Oh, you can leave it running. I didn't know that. I found the best path. Well, I think I, think I found the best path. It's going to be right over here. We're going to give this one more shot. If it doesn't work, I'm going to have to ask you boys for some more tips on this. Because I want to get this thing ramped up on the freaking, uh, on the freaking roof. All right, let's see now. Ended up right about there. So that means we should put this right about, not on top of the freaking fuel, uh, the freaking brake line fluid. Hold on. All right. Down by the water's edge. This is where we're coming from. Let's freaking do this. Here we go, boys. Get that speed. Get that speed. A little tough going uphill. It's just a tiny little moped after all. Just a tiny moped, kind of squeeze on through there, and oh, oh shit! <laughs> Damn it, there's your seagull laugh, son of a bitch! Well, balls, it didn't work. I gave it my best shot, we're gonna have to try it again. Did I like teleport through the seat or did I just completely miss it? Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of My Summer Cards. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>